How's it going guys? Vlad here and welcome to the second tutorial and the extended version of the second tutorial where we're going to discuss in detail some of the concepts that were used in the in the making of the circuits that we saw in the second tutorial. So first things first is analog to digital conversion. Uh, this is what we used in order to get the voltage on the temperature sensor and to get the according temperature. So what is exactly analog to digital conversion or more commonly known as ADC and how does it how does it actually happen? Well the first thing is you have your voltage reference and in our case it was 5 volts. You may set it in the Arduino uh, without additional components to 2.53 or you may use an external voltage so you can apply 4 volts or 3 volts if you desire and this is done to in order to increase the accuracy of your divisions which we'll go into a bit, a bit later so uh, just to give you an example of how it actually proceeds is and what does it mean a 10 bit um, conversion or precision so let's say you have 0 to 5 volts. So this is our scale, 0 to 5 volts. And you have 10 bits. So 1, 2, 3. Well, let's start with 4 right now. Okay. So you divide your voltage into 2. So this is your 2.5. The first bit is going to indicate way, uh, whether you have 2.5 volts or 5 volts. So you have divided into two segments one of which you will label 2.5 and one of which you will label 5. So you don't know where exactly your voltage is, but you know it's between or within one of these segments. So you will have this first bit, which will be uh, 2.5 or 5 volts. This, If you introduce a second bit, so a 2-bit conversion, you will split down further your segments and in this case you divide 2.5 again by uh, by 2 and you get 1.25 so you have you now have four segments so you can either have a 125 you can have 2.5 you can have 3.75 or 5 volts so this gives you an accuracy of four right so you have four different segments if you keep on walking down, so the next stage is 1.25 over 2. Um, so this segment is now going to be uh, 5.1, 5 5 sorry, sorry, 0 0.5125. 0 0.5125. So here you're going to have an eight um, you're going to have eight segments within your zero to your VRF which is five volts here as an example but it may be anything and as you can see your precision goes down to 0 0.5125 volts so you will this is basically a scale so that means your your little segment your smallest segment is going to be from 0 to 0 0.5125 to volts. You don't know where your voltage is exactly, but you know that it's within that division. So at, this is, let's see, like 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, so here you get 16, 32, so 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 64, 128, uh, 256. Uh, 512 and 1024 so so as you can see at 10 bits you get a thousand and twenty four segments so in Arduino they're just labeled from 0 to 1023 and this is where if you remember this is where the highest reading came from so for example, let's say you get 
you obtained this reading from your ADC value so you, you got this 1023 so to convert it back to voltage you're going to do um, 1023 times 5 divided by 1023 so in that in that case obviously it's 5 volts but let's say let's say you want to find how how would you get this 2.5 you would take the 512 over 1025 times 5 and this will give you 2.5 volts so your ADC would read 512 and this would equate to 2.5 volts in our case in the case that the reference is 5 volts uh, additionally what you want to know is let's say you have a sensor that only goes up to 2 volts right so if this if this is zero, 0 to 2 volts, you want to make sure that you break down this area into 1023 segments on, and not the 0 to 5 volts because that will increase your resolution over this segment. Uh, I guess that's it for ADC. I hope it's clear. If you have any other questions, let me know. I'm, I mean, thank you. And let's move on to the second concept. All right, so the second concept that I wanted to discuss and which we used in our second circuit is pulse with modulation or PWM and I don't know why but there's a lot of confusion on YouTube by some of the people who are explaining this concept and I just wanted to clarify it once again but I mean there's nothing complicated in terms of PWM so what you're doing is is essentially you're alternating between 0 and 5 volts so let's just draw like a a nice graph so this is your 0 this is your 5 so as an example let's do a 20 percent pulse with modulation so 20%, so that's one. So I want it to be exact. Um, the frequency obviously can vary. The freq This is not dependent on the frequency. You can have it at one kilohertz as well as 500 kilohertz. So four, five, six. I'll do it here. Okay, so as a very simple explanation of PWM, imagine that this is your total T or the period of your signal, and imagine that's that's your one hundred percent. So the length of your high, and sometimes this could be inverse, sometimes people say it's the other way around, but basically the percentage or the length of this divided by the length of your whole period is your percentage. So in this case, let's just use sort of the scale. So this is two cells and this whole width is 10 cells so this is where your 20% comes from if you wanted to do a 50% this is what the signal would look like so you have your 0 again your 5 and this is 50% so let's just make it a bit simpler I'm not going to use 10 cells, I'm going to use 3 So as you can see, your T here is equal to 6, and your high is equal to 3, so PWM of 3 over 6, 50%. All right, so I hope that's clear. Obviously, you can, you can make it 80%, 90 just a similar fashion. Um, what I wanted to discuss, though, is that some 
several people are saying that, for example, 50% is equivalent to a 2.5 voltage overall, which is not exactly how you want to see PWM because you want to be aware that you are really applying 5 volts followed by 0 volts onto your device. So an LED, an LED which is rated at 20 microamps, you cannot simply calculate that you're going to apply 2.5 volts. That would be incorrect. You, you are going to, in most cases, damage your device. Now there's some LEDs that are rated and they do this uh, specifically uh, for pulse with modulated signals where they tell you the LED can sustain up to 100 milliamps for 10% of duty cycle. So what that means is you can apply a 10% um, pulse width modulated signal onto your LED but they will also tell you the frequencies, the length of that signal and etc. But you should never assume that simply because you're doing a 50% PWM that you're automatically get, getting your 2.5 volts. It is a sort of an illusion of a of an analog voltage but in reality it is not 2.5 volts um, so why in that case why does the LED dim when you apply a smaller uh, when you apply I mean yeah it's a smaller PWM signal well you have to think of the system as a whole and what really happens is your eye Um, only sees a portion of the light so essentially it is acting as a uh, low pass filter uh, which means that you're we're only able to see 30 frames per second at best so that means when the LED is turned on and off very quickly at certain rates we're missing the frames um, when it is turned on or off so we we see it as being more dim or more bright based on the PWM signal so that is the reason why but in reality the intensity so the intensity of over here is going to be equivalent to the intensity over here and during this period the LED is going to be just as like it's going to be off completely and it's going to be off completely here it is not a there's no difference between uh, these two brightnesses if it is not seen through our eye which acts as a filter for the for this uh, pulse with modulated signal for the motors the same thing happens you're applying a voltage and then you're stopping so essentially through inertia the motor keeps spinning until you give it another pulse so it's as if you're like jerking onto the motor but because it happens at a very high frequency you can ignore this um, this jerking moment and then you see it as a continuous motion within your motor all right so i hope there's no questions and if there are any just let me know and i'll be more than happy to answer them about pwm or adc thank you guys for watching see you next time bye